I bought these boots for my daughter for Christmas and she hates them. But I love these boots so much. I wanted to give you guys an honest review before I sent them back to the shop. These are not the first children's boots that I have bought, but they are the first boots that my daughter hated. So I don't know what to tell you there. Check out these adorable tombstone area boots. These are cute. If they fit me, I would wear them right now. Truth be told, I wear like a size six in kids. I really love Ariat boots, but their kids boots are second to none. These boots are like amazing riding boots. Check this out. These are leather and leather uppers. The inside is like soft. Sometimes they're leather, sometimes they're a fabric. The pull straps are leather and I'm fairly certain every child's Ariat boot is a cowhide leather. This one's just a brown. It's not oiled, even though it looks a little bit oiled, but they're just really cute. They put a lot of detail and you could tell Ariat from a mile away. The, the bugs are great. The double welt is amazing. And their soles, their soles are actually designed for 80% friction going in the stirrup and 20% friction coming out of the stirrup. So it's a fairly safe sole, so long as you don't get those Ariat Fat Babies. Don't get those Ariat Fat Babies. But this is a heel, uh, this is a half inch heel, more like a roper style heel, at least that's what I call it in my neck of the woods. Um, if you guys call it something else, please tell me what the heel you call that. So Ariat, along with every other boot manufacturer in 2020 and 2021, decided to go with this square toe, this like super wide square toe. And I feel like it looks like the very first style of boots before they decided we had left and right feet. What do you think? That's Let me show you this really quick feature before I end this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button because this is pretty cool. All Ariats have a removable and replaceable insole and I buy a new insole like often, very often in my like 10 year old boots, that's like on its fifth pair. But here, these kids insoles, they actually have two parts. So when you buy the child's leather boot, not only is this leather gonna conform and grow with your child, it's actually, um, as soon as your child outgrows the boot, you can remove this insole and give them a little bit more growing room. So you could actually get your entire money's worth out of a pair of boots because I'm a mom with three kids and I like my boots to last for those little guys. So other than the typical features that Ariat has, like a composite wide shank and a durable rubber sole for our rainy Washington weather, and full leather uppers and a removable and replaceable insole, these boots are my top choice. The biggest downfall of Ariat Kids boots is their price. These boots I think are in the $90 price range and that's a steep, steep price to pay, especially if you're going to be getting your kids a new pair of boots every year. But I really think they're worth it. And I have actually been able to sell some of my kids old Ariat boots for a decent used boot price. So keep that in mind too, when you're weighing out all of your boot options between Target boots, like I did a video right here, and a full leather Ariat boot. That's all I have to say about these boots. I'll see you guys next time.